If we can get rid of these bits now, those are not going to help us with curved tube. So let's start over here and let's try this. When I say curved tube, you can see that the flint goes in here, but meets the flint wheel up here. So it travels from here this way. Obviously, straight short one like that would be fine short enough and not big enough around that one isn't going to make it so we would have we need something that's going to curve with the tube okay and as i talked about in the article kind of a knurled up in there is what i'm looking for and uh, give me as much surface cutting space with it as possible. Um, this one is way too long for what I need right now. Anyway, you can see, you stick that in there. Um, right there, we're not gonna reach the end. We're pretty close. Um, but you can see how that curves through there. We're not really there. but. We're going to get there. We're going to cut this to the right length and um, get it seated in the jaws of our chuck here. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to cut this. Let's try this. Okay, we want enough to give it some flexibility. Um, and some pressure to cut into that old flint without bending. We don't want enough that it's going to bend. So we're going to cut it right there. Try it there. All right, so get that seated. Get that seated into all the way back into the chuck of the drill and then tighten it up and now you're going to put that in there you might want to hold it open hold your lighter open so that you got room for your dust to come out you know and so you can also feel when it um, is making contact there with that file wheel so, just run, run it, you're going to run it back and forth. As strong as you can. And I don't really think there's any obstruction in this ladder. But you can see how... Um, You can see that moving things around in there. And um, you know how long this takes? You know, I've got a pile of lighters that I have tried this very operation on that I was hopeful that it would work. That as of now, it hasn't worked yet. Um, so this is definitely not a foolproof method but it is the best method that I have found uh, so far, other than taking the top apart, which is a whole other problem. Um, that's another thing you can do. You're just dealing with a lot of tiny parts at that point. Um, this is the best, easiest, and, um, you know, relatively successful method that I have found for clearing uh, curved flint tubes and vintage cigarette lighters.